An object that is symmetrical in shape and uniform in composition will have its center of gravity at its geometric center. With odd shaped objects, the center of gravity will be more difficult to locate. Let's check it out. Okay, center of gravity for odd, odd shaped objects. Um, this is probably my favorite part of the course. Um, Okay, so obviously this is iron, it's three quarter inch iron. We can figure out how much it weighs with the dimensions we have, but I just wanna focus in right now on finding the center of gravity, okay? And to find the center of gravity for this object, we don't really need these numbers at all, okay? All right, this has two pieces, I see. You got a piece here and you got a piece coming across here, okay? Now, in order to find the center of gravity of these, what I'm gonna do, start by doing is um, separating these two pieces. And the first way I'm gonna separate it is I'm just gonna separate it by drawing a dotted line right down there, okay? So now I got a block here, and I got a block here, okay? Now let's find the center of gravity of this block. It's pretty easy, all you gotta do is really draw an X, right? And it'll be right in the middle. So right about there, if we're gonna eyeball it, okay? What about the center of gravity of this entire block right here, okay? Well, we could, again, we could draw an X, or we can measure it, but it's going to be somewhere around here, just to eyeball it, okay? Now, if the center of gravity of this block is here, the center of gravity of this block is here, that means that somewhere along these, this line, somewhere along this line is the center of gravity for both blocks together, okay? Now, let's separate these blocks a little bit differently. Okay, instead of having the line come down here to separate it so this is a block, let's separate it right here. So now let's look at this whole block here, okay, and determine the center of gravity. I mean, you could draw those lines in X again, but it's gonna be somewhere right here, right? Okay, now if we look at, not this entire block, but just the block from here up, where the center of gravity is, I mean, again, you could draw the lines, right? But it's gonna be somewhere now, somewhere right around here, Okay, center of gravity of this block is up there, center of gravity of this block is down here, both of them together. The center of gravity is going to be somewhere along that line. Well, if it's somewhere along this line, and it's somewhere along this line, it has to be where the two lines intersect. That is your center of gravity. Easy.